Well, there were a lot of big moments before the launch was scrubbed. It was an amazing day, really. The yeah. astronauts walked out earlier this afternoon showing off those stylish new suits. They also had a very touching moment with their family while the vice president and Elon Musk looked on. Uh, Tesla took the launch, took them to the launch pad a short time later before they started heading up to the Dragon. They got one last look at the rocket on the pad before they went up there. Everything was a go at that point. Astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Bankin said farewell and stepped inside the Dragon capsule. Now they are being unloaded from the Crew Dragon. New 6 is Eric Monaghan leads our coverage now at 5. Eric, what's the latest from KSC? Lisa, they have pulled all the fuel off the Falcon 9. It is now safe, and then it's a matter of time until they open the hatch, and then the closeout crew walks in and unstraps them. They're really kind of helpless right now. They're strapped into their seats. They were waiting to go to space. They were on their backs. They were looking up at the sky. And then, of course, this all fell apart about 15, 16 minutes before launch. We know it's the, that it's safe right now inside the crew capsule because the astronauts just undid their helmet visor. These new astronaut flight suits made by SpaceX, um, the helmet is locked in with a twist. So they untwisted it and then they were able to flip up the visor and, of course, breathe air inside the capsule, even though they're being fed all of the life support systems through their spacesuit, through the umbilical cord attached to Dragon. So once they get the astronauts out of the capsule, they have to go down with them and down that entire launch tower and then walk them back into the Tesla and then ride them back here to the middle of the Kennedy Space Center and they'll go back into quarantine until Saturday. We were so close, NASA waited until almost the last minute. I, I mean, we're talking through showers and wind and wind shear and even a tornado warning that pretty much passed right over here at the Kennedy Space Center, and it came down to the final moments. Here was the call. Listen. Launch is going to run out. Stand by. Continue to violate a couple different weather rules that we now do not expect to clear in time to allow for a launch today. We go ahead and end uh, today's launch attempt. Launch control. Go ahead and end the launch auto sequence and proceed into the launch abort auto sequence, please. Launch abort has started. And Dragon SpaceX, unfortunately, um, we are not going to launch today. You are go for 5.100 launch scrub. So we try again Saturday afternoon. I know Tom is optimistic about the weather on Saturday. And so are we, and so are NASA, and so SpaceX. That's why they're going to try again. But still, only a 60% go for launch Saturday afternoon, which was, Matt and Lisa, the same that it was today when we started out. All right, Eric Von Inken reporting live for us. Thank you.